Guy Berryman, uh, you are the only Scottish in uh, an English band. How did you imagine your future when you chose to go to move to London to study in the college? Um, well, I think we all kind of decided that um, we wanted to be musicians, you know. And the reason we went to college was really just to meet to meet other musicians. So it was the that was the whole the whole idea. You know, we all came and we all met each other and we all had the same idea. So it's kind of lucky, really. Today, Coldplay is our rock and roll star. Uh, which kind of thoughts uh, cross your mind and the band's mind today? With, with these statues. How do you mean? Which thoughts cross your mind? Which feelings? Thinking well, about okay. your presence. Yeah, I'm very, well, I'm very happy that, um, to be where, you know, where I am and where we are. You know, we, we decided when we, when we formed the band that, um, you know, we wanted to be a successful band and I think we've, we've come part, part of the way there to, to setting out you know, do what we set out to achieve. And which is the, the worst side of uh, a success? Well, you know, you can't complain too much, you know. I mean, our lives are pretty, pretty amazing, you know. We get to travel all over the world and um, so it's very, very hard to, um, to find things to uh, complain about. But uh, one of my... Uh, Things that one, one of the things that annoys me is when we stay in a hotel and it doesn't have a sauna. I need to have a sauna every day, you know, because if you're at, on the bus every night and you're like drinking away and stuff like that, you need to, you need to get it out of your system, you know, so you can start again. Uh, Guy, tonight uh, Coldplay are going to play in your own. Mm -hmm. uh, reviews of previous concerts, uh, report of new songs played on stage. Uh, particularly an un untitled uh, up-tempo song uh, with uh, Chris Martin on electric guitar and uh, a typical Coldplay song, a typical Coldplay ballad mm -hmm. uh, called uh, Moses. Uh -huh. Can you tell me anything about the new directions of uh, Coldplay's music? Uh, well, you know, we... Do you have already a new project? Well, we're thinking about the next album, you know. Uh, we'll go into the studio at the end of the year, maybe November, December and we've probably got about 10 strong song ideas that, we're, that we have to work on, um, some of which we play live, as, as you've said. Um, but, you know, it's just, uh, it's going to be different from, from the last album. You know, we're, we're going to try and, uh, we, we don't ever want to uh, do the same thing twice, you know, so the sound will be slightly different and... Um, In which measure? In which way? Um, it's hard to describe, you know. It's music is something for for listening to, you know, not for talking about. So it's very hard to describe. But I think it might be. Um, I think there uh, there might be some up, more up tempo songs, you know, even quicker than what we we did on like the first album was very slow, mm -hmm. and then the second album was a bit quicker. <laughs> so this one's going to be very quick. Still very melodic. Oh, of course, it has to be. Um, Chris Martin said that a rush of blow to the head was uh, a sort of diary, uh, collecting uh, feelings, uh, fears and uh, hopes uh, of the time when uh, it was recorded. After uh, this astonishing year with uh, a great success in the USA and in Europe too, and uh, with the Coldplay winning a lot of prizes, uh, uh, Grammys, uh, Brits, Ivor Novello, uh, which kind of feelings and uh, emotions uh, will be collected in the next album? Well, Happiness. I would imagine so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I think, you know, our albums will always be a kind of cross-section of everything, you know. Mm. Like sometimes there will be happy songs and sometimes maybe more sad songs. I think it's important that you have not just one not just one thing you know it's important to have everything so when you're listening to it you might be uh, so you go and take the album one day you 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 were in the mood for listening to this song and then one day you might be in the mood for listening to that one you know so it'll never all it'll never just be one one direction Coldplay released two albums 
After any album, also the huge, huge success, also voices of a split. Is there any truth in the voices? Voices? There's rumors uh, about uh, a crisis inside the band. After oh, yeah, yeah, just rumors. I, I don't know. Just rumors. Yeah. That we were going to split up and. Uh, no, that was weird. Because all of a sudden, I think newspapers, you know, especially tabloid newspapers, they just want a story. And if they don't get one, then they just make it up, you know? A rush of blow to the head. Uh, won also an important prize, the Billboard Award, an American award. Okay. Uh, second place, uh, uh, Queens of the Stone Age. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very, very strange because um, it's difficult for British bands to hit you, the USA. Yeah. And uh, do you have an. Um, and your music, uh, above all, is not so American. It's no. nocturnal, intimate, passionate. Um, do you have a personal explanation about the American success of Coldplay? Well, I think you know when we when we started to um, to do well over there, it was at a time when uh, the music on the American radio stations was just garbage. It was just it was just this heavy, heavy, no melodies, no songs. It was just this sound, and it was just awful. And I think we started to do well there because we at that time we gave. We gave them, uh, we released uh, Yellow, which is the opposite, it's a very melodic song, you know, and I think people were getting fed up listening to that heavy stuff, and I think our song really stood out in the, uh, in the radio really well, so that was really, you know, the most, to, to get that one song on the radio and to get people talking about us was, was, was the first step. Um, and then the second step you have to make is just spend a lot of time there and because it's a, such a huge country and so many cities you have to go and play in every city and we've done this like two or three times now and every time we go around the, you know it gets the venues get bigger and bigger and we've just been there we played um, the hollywood bowl two nights at the hollywood bowl which is a very famous uh, venue and also madison square garden so we've really um, we've come quite a long a, a lot further than a lot of bands from britain have gone in america in the last I don't know, 20 years or so, which makes me feel very proud because it was something that we uh, wanted to do and we knew it was going to be tough. And it, it was hard. It was really hard, you know.